I thought it'd be closer to that thing, but it isn't. Ooh, maybe I can, though. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna risk it. Oh my god! Oh! Yes! Oh, the perfect stealth run there. What's going on guys? Dre here, just doing some more squats as I stock out the warehouse because we are going in here to get account details from Safe 301. Is there a safe called 301 or is it just the address? Because this is also the address 301. I don't know. But yeah, welcome back to Thief Simulator, everybody. If you missed the last episode, a new industrial area has come out and uh, Vinny tried to kill me. The, 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 the little jerk! Speaking of Vinny, I, I pretty much guarantee I know where he is because, well, let me just show you something. We're going to go for a nice little run now. Clearly, this is going to be uh, a workout episode of Thief Simulator. But yeah, we have all these industrial areas with, uh, you know, businesses and whatnot. And at the end of the road here, way hidden in the woods, as you can see, we have 304, which is not a business. It is actually just a giant freaking mansion. So, I mean... Obviously, Vinny's in here, right? I mean, we're still gonna do the storyline and go through it, all the businesses and whatnot, but, uh, yeah, Vinny is definitely living in 304, I'm thinking. I can pretty much guarantee it. I will eat my beard if Vinny is not in 304. And I'm, I'm gonna get that little jerk. I'm gonna poke his eyeballs out or something because that little asshole tried to kill me. So, yeah, if you missed the last episode, go check it out. We have a new update now with a new area, and it's all about businesses. Now... I gotta say, I have a little gripe with this update, though. Like, where are we getting this information? Because in the first episode, we had to go to this place and steal something. And then automatically, we know that there's something in... Or the account details in Safe 301 over here. Like, why didn't they think about adding, like, maybe another enemies of Binnies that's going to help me out or something? Because right now, I'm just magically poofing this information into my head. I mean, maybe I'm a psychic or something. I don't know. But yeah, today we're gonna get inside this warehouse, and I'm not actually seeing any guards out here, so I'm gonna try and get some intel the best that I can anyways. Let's actually see if there's any breakages in these fences or anything. Uh, see if we can get in anywhere. And uh, also, I, I love the, uh, the endless farmland over here that has nothing. Okay, so I'm not seeing anywhere where I can climb, unfortunately. Uh, looks like this is actually rather shallow over here. Maybe we could bring the van over and jump this. Not actually with the van. That'd be impressive, though, but jump over it with... Oh. Hey. Okay, well, that's that, that's obviously a weak point. I think we could honestly bring the van over. Oh, there is a garden there. Okay, so there is... Hey, buddy! What's up? There we go. He's like, what the hell was that? Just, uh, just, just trying to stalk you, don't, don't mind me. So yeah, we can actually get intel information, so it looks like we have three guards inside that we have to worry about. Most of them are on the outside. Now, the good thing about this place is we're gonna have lots of hidey spots, because if we go up to this beautiful little park over here with, uh, what the hell is this? Is this like a bird bath? Like, seriously, there's like rocks in there. I honestly have no idea what this is. But yeah, if you look over here... I mean, that's a really good hiding zone, so I'm kind of excited for this one. I've never went into a warehouse before, so yeah, we're going to gain some intel on these guards, see if we can find any cameras or anything, and uh, yeah, try and get in and see what happens. Do we have anything we can hack here? And yes, we could hack the terminal. You know what? Screw it. I'll hack the terminal just to open it up, but I don't think we'll be going in this way, but we will need a way to exit, and obviously having an open front would be nice. Okay, there we go, and we should be able to get better visuals now, too. So, hi, guys! Your door randomly opened. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna look for more cameras. Alright, well, we're waiting for time to pass so I can get more intel on these guards' walking positions. Let's, uh, take my van over here and see if this will work. I definitely think this is what this was made for, so I'm glad I actually noticed this so we have an extra way in. And yeah, look at this. This is perfect. Jesus Christ! Oh, what, what? No, I just hit the wall, man! The police really need to be called? Oh, God, the exit's blocked. That's right, I, I can't get out. Okay. I don't know why. I should just drive away. Why am I running away? All right, it's fine. I'm just, I'm just gonna go into the field over here. Uh, just, just Farmer Fred over here, just, just doing my job. Just awkwardly sitting out here with binoculars. Oh, God damn it. What? The police will tow my car? Oh, I didn't... Is that a new thing? Where if they see my car, they're gonna tow it? God damn it. All, all, all that intel was wasted now. But seriously, why were the cops called? Like, is it really that much of a criminal offense to hit the wall? Maybe they saw because I opened the front door. That's that's all I can think of. 
All right, try this again. Obviously, be very careful. What the frig? Okay, so they really don't like a van there, do they? Okay, well, see you later, suckers. I'm gonna go back to my hideout for a bit, I guess. I have it set, as you can see, and we can indeed make it over. All right, so at least I got that going for me. Now I need to get all the intel again, though. And, oh, yep, yeah, just gonna hide. Sorry, buddy. Okay, and there we go after stalking out all day. We've got a lot of information on these guys, so we're gonna get the hell out of here so it saves. If we leave the area, we'll always have this intel, and obviously it took me a while to get it all, so we want to keep that stuff. We should be able to just drive into the field over here and go back to our hideout, uh, which I don't like about this game. There should only be the exits on the roads, I think, because it's way too easy to run away if you just run into the fields, but hey, I'm, I'm, I'm not complaining. All right, so let's check out this intel and see when we should hit the place. Now, I was looking around, and actually late at night, there was nobody at the... I guess it's considered the back? Uh, let me actually see. Yeah, they're at the front storeroom. So I'm thinking between 11 and the mid-morning time should be the best time to hit if we want to go in the back. Or I guess technically it'd be the side, right? I mean, it'd be both the back and the side. What I'm going to probably do is run to the back of the place... So what we're going to do, actually, we should probably just sleep right now, because uh, I don't want to sit over there for five hours waiting. And we are going to sleep until midnight, well, not midnight, but 11 p.m. That way it gives us a little bit of time to sneak in here and hopefully sneak around without being caught. Okay, we're going to exit. The hell? Why don't, I don't want to exit the vehicle. God damn it. And this is amazing for me now. Hopefully I found all the... Uh, Security cameras, there might be some on the inside, obviously, that I don't know about, but we just got one guy we have to deal with, and the the, the floor boss as well, because I couldn't get over that. I wonder if there's anything in these cargo containers. We're just going to open one up. Oh, they're actually... Oh, my God! Can I steal that? Please tell me this all has, like, really rare cargo. Obviously, that looks very expensive. I can't steal it, unfortunately. I guess it's a little too heavy. It is made out of stone, I would assume. God, it... But I wonder... If some of these have good stuff in them. Now I'm just curious. Is this cocaine? Probably cocaine. No, it's actually cement. But, I mean, we know what cement is when it's illegal operations. Which, this is probably illegal operation because it's tied with Vinny. God damn, what's up with the floor here, man? Okay, I thought... Okay, the building's right over here. He actually doesn't see me. We're actually so far away, we might be able to sneak in here. Problem is, I don't think there's many rooms inside this place. So, this is going to be fun to try and sneak around while there's probably two guys inside. So, we got those guys over there. This guy, oh yeah, we're totally fine to sneak in right now. Unfortunately, this is barred. I didn't actually think about looking around and seeing where I could enter the building. Okay, we have a dumpster here we can hide in. Good intel to have if we do get caught. I think this is going to be by far our hardest one. Just because once I get inside, I'm not going to be safe as well. Usually when I'm inside the places, it's not so bad. I don't have to worry about the guards. Not this time. Oh, God, please don't see me. Oh, yeah, he's going to see me. Okay. And unfortunately, we have windows they can see through all the time. This is going to be real fun. See, these guys, they, they, they don't have the best vision. I'm going to actually... Oh, God, I can't really sprint because these guys will hear me. I think there's a door here. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, God, I got to do this quick. I'm not very fast at these. Um, come on, baby. Uh, uh, brain, come on, work with me. Yes. No. Damn it. No, that's still not going to work. I don't think. Well, actually, no, we can do this and that. Okay. Whew. <sighs> Where's that guy at? All right, he's still over there. We're going to open this slowly. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, at least there's a little hidey spot here. Oh, there's a door over there? Nobody told me about this damn door. Oh, easy now. Hello. Just sneaking around. Don't mind me. Oh, he's actually got his back to me. Perfect. Uh, I want to see. How do I open this? God damn it. I should probably do this, though, because I'm going to need to get out of here quick. Oh, God. I don't know where the guy is. I don't like this. And they're going to be moving around a lot uh, soon because it's going to be morning time, and that's generally when they move. Oh, come on. Hurry up. Okay. Got two doors open. I still have no way to exit as well because I haven't opened the front gate, so I am really going to have to stealth this. Oh, God. Why are the lights on? I don't like the lights on. Thankfully, there's a lot, of, lots of hidey spots. How the hell do I get over there, though? I really got to go... Okay, he's, he's at a good spot right now, actually. We might be able to make this. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, what? Where is it? Okay, how, how do I get back here? You know what? I'm stealing your damn radio, even if it's only 25 bucks. Uh-oh. 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 Oh! 
Oh, please don't come over here. Oh, I'm dead. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Damn it. God, I got stuck there. Oh, you know what? That freaking door is probably the area into this room. And I didn't even... Oh, I'm so dumb. I am so freaking dumb sometimes. That door that I unlocked is definitely where we need to go to get in that damn room. Oh, man. I, I do not work well uh, under pressure, clearly. This is actually a really good time to go, though, because... Even if these guys can almost see me, they don't seem to no notice me too much. So we're going to try again here. This time, at least I have a better plan. This time... Oh, yeah, we're, we're totally fine over here. Why didn't I think this door would go anywhere? I thought it would just exit. But clearly there's no way to exit because I was all on that wall and didn't see anything. So I don't know what I was thinking. Again, don't work well under pressure. So hopefully this time... We can be a little safer. This should actually be a nice safe zone for us. Uh, that's not gonna work. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? And over. Okay. Got it unlocked without being caught. Just gonna open this slowly, and we are in! Okay. And I feel a little safe now. We still have windows we have to worry about. What is this? New blueprint? It's my blueprint now! New warehouse blueprint? Another one? My blueprint now. And they're worth a lot of money, and they're light, so that's great. Um, I have a flashlight, don't I? I think I have to hold it, though, so... Uh, maybe I should actually equip that. Wait, I have night vision? F is flashlight. I thought it was, but I, I have freaking night vision? I do not have night vision, and my flashlight also isn't working, so... Not sure... Is it because I'm holding something? R, F... It's still not working, guys. I don't know what happened to my flashlight, but it's gone. I'm sorry if it's really dark, but it is nighttime after all. Oh, we got it, baby! <laughs> All right, now we just got to get out of here, which is going to be very, very hard because the front door is not open right now, but obviously I'd like to get some stuff first. Now, actually, before we get too comfortable in this room, let me just make sure they don't ever go in this room. That's the wrong place. Uh, storeroom, side of house, back of house, front of house, storeroom. So, yeah, the other room is called the storeroom, obviously, because that's where we store things. I mean, I could steal a $40 router. That is definitely not worth it, though. Ooh, binder with shipping documents. Okay, I'm loving this... Uh, this new loot with, like, personal information that's worth a lot because we've never seen any of that. But this is going to be... I mean, we already got a lot of money in the bank, but we are going to need some more. All right, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to try it right now. And... Oh, my God. That was horrifying. I need to get... Oh, Jesus. That's right. They turn on the lights. This guy can probably see me if he turns around. Nope. Actually, we're good. Is there anything in here I can steal, though? I mean, obviously, it's a warehouse. There's got to be at least some stuff. Do not want to hang around in here too long, though. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I'm going back outside. This guy's walking away. This is a good time to go back, and maybe we can get something inside these crates. Oh, yeah. Random brown wallet just hanging out in a crate. I'll take it. And dusk at the river. That's an actual painting that's worth some money. Oh, yeah. This is all expensive loot in these things. This is exciting. Okay, what do we got in here? What is this? CNC milling machine? Once again, something I'd have to... Man, if we could get our van in here... I don't know how we'd be able to get our van in here without being noticed. I mean, we can open the front gate. There's got to be a shutoff for the... Oh, God. Security camera somewhere. Uh, clearly, I don't know where it is, though. Cinema camera. Perfect. Oh, my God. We got a cinema freaking camera. Unfortunately, we have a guy out here now. So I'm going to have to really watch out and we're back in this one that's right okay um oh god is he coming back yes he's coming back so let's just just in case we'll just wait here oh, something's in here if i could just man use your feet you idiot unfortunately he might be able to see me here uh valuable package i like valuable packages this is gonna be our most profitable day ever these are all nice and light and worth a crap load of money oh my god there's just so many too okay easy now what the hell's this Ah, just headphones. Well, we'll take them. They're light. Damage phone and USB flash drive. Again, they're going to be really light, so we may as well take them. And once again, this guy's coming. Should I hide? No. He, is he walking this way? No. Thank God I took the time to get the intel because I would not survive this without that. Okay, we just got a random briefcase in here. A radio. Uh, don't think that one was worth it, but we can always drop it later. There we go. He's turning around. So let's... Uh, Oh my god, this is horrifying because he's going to be able to see me up here. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. I don't think we're going to be able to jump it. I thought it'd be closer to that thing, but it isn't. Ooh, maybe I can, though. Okay, you know what? I'm going to try something. I'm going to risk it. Oh my god! Oh! Yes! 
Oh, the perfect stealth run there. And uh, that was a little uncomfortable, but we freaking did it. Now, let's get out of here before we get caught, though. I mean, a van hanging out beside a wall is kind of uh, suspicious. So, yeah, we're going to get us out of here as quickly as possible and see how much money we made because we had a lot of big ticket items today. Ah, all right. You know what? Actually, let's go to the hideout first because we have some things we have to crack. Uh, but we also get paid $500 for this. Again, back to my complaint. Who's exactly paying for this? Why did I get a D? I did this so well. Are you serious? All right, we also got some skill points at least, so that's good. Like, seriously, why did I get a D? There's nothing I did wrong there. I don't understand the scoring system. But yeah, like, we're paid $500 for doing this mission, yet we're not working with anybody. So who's paying me the $500 to steal that? I don't understand it. Uh, but yeah, let's go to the evidence box. Where was that again? Wasn't it over here? No, it's over here. So we're gonna put that in there. The key card for spyware ink is inside the office safe. So again, nobody told me who's where, where the key card is. It just randomly popped up right now, but I guess we're gonna have to go to 302 next. Do I not get to put an, a thing on the board? Because last time I, I, I got to put this on the board. I guess not, but at least we're getting closer to this jerk over here, and uh, hopefully soon we can deal with him because he deserves to die. By the way, I can move these things around, <laughs> which is why this is here. All right, but let's crack some stuff. Actually, we only had a laptop, but, I mean, we're going to have to crack it to sell it, so we may as well do that real quick, and then go over to our favorite pawnbroker and see what we can earn today. All right, what's up, my dude? Welcome it's been back. a little while. I got some good stuff for you today. I don't know if I should keep these or not. Uh, I kept the other thing that we got, the, the information, so I'm thinking... Being that we don't need money right now, I think we're going to keep all the things that could come in handy later on. That being said, we still got a lot of stuff today. I wonder what the valuable package is. I wonder. Still worth a lot of money. Excited to sell this stuff. And if we did sell these top things, like that would be 8K right there. Or sorry, uh, more like 7K. But still, had a really good day. Got the laptop. There we go. And we are back to 53 grand in the bank. And we'll just store these things back at our hideout. All right, so there we go. We're just going to store this with the, yeah, the binder with login credentials. I also have that fake fa Fabergé egg that I can't seem to uh, sell. So I'm not sure what that's all about. I think it's just probably a collectible, but we got these blueprints. Again, I don't think we probably need these for anything, but if we do need money, at least we have these things we can quickly sell anyways. Let's actually go on the computer real quick to see if there's, oh, there is a new laptop. It's a pro version. Why is it upside down? I don't know, but... um. Yeah, I guess, is it upside down? I'm pretty sure it is. I don't know why they decided to do it that way. But yeah, I guess we can uh, save up for that at least. 120 grand? That better be a freaking amazing laptop. Oh, we can actually buy things for our house? Okay, well, at least we have something to spend the money on. I don't get why it's called house ripoff, though. That's kind of exciting. Uh, we'll save our money for right now because I'd rather get the, the computer. But it's good to know that we can still buy something. And we also have this information that we can buy. Maybe I should buy this stuff. I think, what do we have to do next? 302? Let me actually see just to make sure. Yeah, yeah. I think I'll buy 302 right now just to get a little bit of help here. So now we should see in the, in the notes we have, oh, I guess it's just jobs? Wait, did I just pay 10 grand or whatever it costed for like nothing? Oh, man. Well, at least I know if I destroy the motorcycle as well as the key card for spyware ink is inside the office safe. So I guess that was the information that we got. Um, I don't know, because that's that's part of my quest. So I'm not sure what the hell I just spent all that money on. Great. Well, I guess we're not going to get information, but we're going to wrap up this one here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Thief Simulator. Next time, we're going to the, it looks like a motorcycle factory. Sounds really exciting. This one was a pretty good run here. We didn't actually screw up too much, which is rare in this game. Oh, I have a watering tank over here? Why do I have a watering tank? I'm so confused by this hideout house. Regardless, thank you guys so much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.